on the space x and s be the associated net then f converges to the point small x as a filter if and only if the associated net s converges to the same point x as a net moreover x is a cluster point of the filter f if and only if it is a cluster point of the net s first suppose that f has a cluster point small x then we need to show that the same point x is a cluster point of the associated net s we can recall that the associated net s is in fact a function from d to x which is defined by taking the directed set d as the collection of all ordered pairs of the form y g where g element of filter f and y element of g and we define s of y g as y itself now to prove that x is a cluster point of the net s we will need to consider an arbitrary neighborhood say u of the point x and an arbitrary element say ordered pair y g from the directed set d so ordered pair y g is a member of the directed set d and this will imply that the set g is a member of filter f and y element of since x is a cluster point of the filter every neighborhood of x will intersect every element of the filter f here u is a neighborhood of the point x and g is a member of filter f so u intersection with g will be non empty let z be a member of g intersection u then ordered pair zg will belong to d since g is a member of the filter f and z belongs to g we can also observe that ordered pair zg follows ordered pair yg as g is a subset of g itself we can also see that s of zg is equal to z itself and z being a member of u intersection g belongs to u also that is we have proved that there exists a member say zg from the directed set d such that s of zg belongs to u the arbitrary neighborhood and zg is an element which follows the element yg this is the requirement of a cluster point therefore we can conclude that x is a cluster point of the net s now we need to prove the converse also so conversely suppose that x is a cluster point of the associated net s and we have to prove that x is a cluster point of the filter f to prove this let us consider an arbitrary neighborhood say u of the point small x and an arbitrary element say capital f from the filter f we will need to show that f intersection with the neighborhood u is non empty let z be any point of the set capital f then the ordered pair zf will belong to the directed set d it is possible to choose a point from this set capital f since it is a member of the filter f and we know that phi does not belong to a filter so it is definitely possible to choose at least one point from the set capital f now since x is a cluster point of the net s and we have a neighborhood u of this point small x and we also have a 
member of the directed set D namely the ordered pair ZF so if we apply the definition of cluster point we will get an ordered pair say YG from D such that YG follows the element ZF and S of YG belongs to the arbitrary neighborhood U and YG follows ZF implies that G is a subset of F also S of YG element of U will imply that S of YG which is defined as Y itself is a member of U but we know that ordered pair YG belongs to D will definitely imply that Y element of G also this is obtained by using definition of D thus we can see that Y is a member of U intersection with G and we can also see that this G is a subset of F also so U intersection with G is non empty and this will imply that U intersection with the superset of G is also non empty that is U intersection with our F is also non empty thus we have proved that the intersection of capital F and the arbitrary neighborhood U is non empty as required hence we can conclude that X is a cluster point of the filter and this completes the proof of the part regarding cluster point of a filter and its associated net the proof of the assertion regarding convergence is similar to prove this assertion let us first assume that f converges to the point small x as a filter we need to prove that the associated net s converges to the same point X. To prove this convergence, let us consider an arbitrary neighborhood, say U of the point small x. Since the filter F converges to small x, every neighborhood of the point small x will belong to the filter. So, in particular, U will belong to filter F. As X belongs to U, we can say that ordered pair XU will belong to the directed set D since U is a member of filter F and X element of U then for any element say ZV which follows the element ordered pair XU V is contained in U using the definition of follows relation in the directed set D and hence S of ZV which is defined as Z and since ordered pair ZV belongs to the directed set D Z will be a member of V itself as V is contained in U this point will be contained in U thus we have proved that there exists ordered pair XU element of D such that for every element ZU which follows this particular element XU S of ZV belongs to the arbitrary neighborhood U this implies that S converges to the point small x as required now we need to prove the converse part conversely assume that S converges to the point small x we have to prove that the filter f converges to x also to prove this convergence of the filter f we will need to show that every neighborhood of this point belongs to the filter f itself so let us consider an arbitrary neighborhood say u of x since the net s converges to the point x there will exist a particular element say yg 
of the directed set D such that for any element ZH which follows this YG S of ZH belongs to the neighborhood U. Since ordered pair YG is a member of D, it is obvious that G belongs to filter F and Y element of G. Now, if Z is any member of G, then ordered pair ZG will belong to D. As G is a member of filter F and Z element of G. Also, we can observe that this ordered pair ZG will definitely follow ordered pair YG as G itself is a subset of G. From this statement as ordered pair ZG follows ordered pair YG, S of ordered pair ZG must belong to U. That is the point Z must belong to U. Here Z is an arbitrary element of G. Therefore, we can conclude that every member of capital G is contained in U. That is, U is a superset of G where G is a member of the filter F. Using the definition of filter F, every superset of G must be contained in the filter as well. Therefore, U must belong to filter F. Thus, we have proved that if U is an arbitrary neighborhood of the point X, then U belongs to filter F. Hence, filter F converges to the point small x as required. These arguments complete the proof of our proposition.